guys, welcome to my channel. Today's video is gonna be exciting because I'm gonna show you <laughs> I'm gonna show you guys my makeup collection and storage and how I store it all and what I'm packing in my makeup. Just wanted to answer very few questions really quick in the beginning of this video because on my last a while 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 back I did a makeup collection video and I got a lot of the same questions as why do you have that much makeup? Well, I'm a beauty blogger. I have this YouTube channel. I have a full beauty blog where I write. I have a makeup Instagram account. So lots of products are sent to me. I would say 85 to 90% of my products are sent to me. Um, yes, I consider myself very blessed. Also, another question I got is, um, do I wear all this makeup? If it's in my drawer, chances are, I'm going to get to wearing it or it's something that I'm wearing in rotation. I rarely wear the same makeup over and over and over again because I am a beauty blogger and I like to constantly be trying out and switching up my products so you guys can know about them and know my thoughts on them. It's just part of my job and what I do and that's why there's so much of it. Yes, I donate makeup that I don't use. Um, if it expires, I toss it. If it's not going to expire and I'm not using it anymore, it goes to donations or a family member. I want to make this a long intro because these videos get really freaking long. <sighs> but we're going to do it. Let's do it. If you enjoyed that video. Hey guys, I have the Alex 9 drawer system, which pretty much every YouTuber has because of its size, convenience, and the way it looks. It's awesome. So I recommend it. Anyways, the first drawer is my concealer drawer and color correctors. And so right over here, I have a lot of benefit products I haven't gotten to play with yet. And then these are my most used concealer products. I have some NARS, um, Urban Decay, MAC, NYX. You see me use this stuff all the time in my videos. And then over here is just different things like color correctors. So towards the back, I know it's kind of hard to see. We have just a couple of more benefit products and some Jouer concealers and a lot of LA girl concealers and just some additional uh, concealers back there which I do go through my drawers like I said in the intro and kind of clean out and um, rearrange stuff that I'm not using to give away. And our next drawer is obviously my ColourPop drawer. I had so many single ColourPop eyeshadows it gets its own drawer. Um, there's not really any rhyme or rhythm to it. I love ColourPop eyeshadows. They're only five dollars each so it gets its own dedicated drawer. Our next drawer is an overflow of mascara. I love mascaras. I pretty much never use the same mascara two days in a row. I constantly switch them out. So they're all getting a little bit of love. So right here are my all time favorite mascaras. I put them in this drawer right here. We have Sigma, we have Benefit, we have Tarte, we have It, we have Stila, Revlon, Lomcom, The Pure, Fully Charged, and a lot of popular ones. This is probably one of my all time favorites, the Marc Jacobs Noir. This one's the brand new from Too Faced. So a lot of mascaras that you've seen on my channel before. And then over here I have some mascara primers and just some newer mascaras that have recently come out that I want to be sure and use a little bit more so I put them right here. So in the back basket this one right here has all colorful mascaras. And I just have a few backup mascaras to try out as well as the new primer from Benefit. Also randomly in this drawer I have a lot of the um, Maybelline Eye Color Crayons. I don't know why they're in here. They just made themselves a home in here so this is where they're at. Which is what I hope you think whenever I open this drawer. This is my favorite drawer, of course. This is my highlighter drawer. And here I just have some, some highlighters. Okay. I have an overflow of highlighters. My favorite thing to buy. And I rarely get rid of them because I am obsessed. So I have some by Makeup Forever. The Anastasia ones. Bobbi Brown. Of course, all my Becca friends right here. I put cream highlighters mostly in the middle. This is a new one by NARS called Hot Sand. I have some Laura Mercier. You know, Ofra, The Bum, Too Faced. More Ofra, um, and then right here are my Benefit friends, and then these are the new ones by Hourglass, and we can't miss out on the brand new Violet Voss highlighting palette coming soon. Okay, and then on back in the drawer, I just have the two new ones from Too Faced. I have some ColourPop back here, as well as some Dose of Color, some MAC, and then these are Charlotte Tilbury cream highlights, and then I have the Jaclyn Hill and Becca palette from this winter, a palette that hasn't came out yet, and some Jouer highlights on back in the back. The next drawer is is of course one of my favorites as well just because this drawer looks so pretty this is my blush drawer right here I have my NYX blushes and then I, ha I always have trouble saying the word blush I say brush and I don't know why forgive me and then also I have my sweetheart blushes from Too Faced right here they are so cute they look like Polly Pocket back here I have my Urban Decay Afterglow blushes I just have a couple different shades some random blushes here my ColourPop friends one would not fit 
so annoying. And then I have my Milani Rose Blushes right here. Some I haven't opened because I kind of think they're like a collector's item. I don't know. Next drawer is my Overflow Blush drawer. So I also keep some of these highlighting palettes from Anastasia in them, which you guys have seen me use these a lot. I actually really, really, really love these. I don't know why I said actually like I, I wasn't supposed to or something. I don't know. And then I have blush palettes in the back, the new Urban Decay, the NARS one, as well as the Benefit one. I just had to show you how pretty that is. Front here, I have my Pure Blush, as well as some from Benefit, and then I have the brand new Summer 2016 Sweetheart Blush from Too Faced. These are all my Mac Daddy highlighter pigments, but some have a nice rosy, um, I call them Mac Daddy. I'm sorry, that's his Instagram name. Artist Couture highlight. And then I have my favorite Aurora powders from Sigma. You guys see me use these all the time as well as just a couple different random blushes. I have my MAC friends, some Bobbi Brown right there, as well as some Lancome, and as well as some more Artist Couture. And then this is one of my favorite NARS blush palettes, the one by Steven Klein. Where is its brush? Hello! Seriously, could you die? How cute is that? And in the back, I have an old Tarte holiday palette, which is almost time to retire because I'm not using it. This is one of my favorite Morphe blush palettes, as well as two It Cosmetics discs. And then these are all cream blushes hanging out here. Now we have the foundation drawer. I'm a foundation junkie. I love trying new foundations. I rarely stick with the same foundation for too long. So up front here, we just have some Too Faced Christian Dior, the new Lumi Cushion, which I really like, my MAC. And then I have some um, couple drugstore one some by Jouer and then these I really love the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Giorgio Armani this is a brand new one from Stila the Aqua Glow Serum Foundation and I also have the Japanex foundation in the back I just have some Buxom which this one's about to expire so I need to throw that out as well as the Makeup Forever Adore the Aqua Luminous by Becca and this is my favorite skin tint. I don't know why it's not my BB drawer, but it's um, but the new one from NARS. And then I have a little bit of Cover Effects Drops, some L'Oreal, some It Cosmetics, some Laura Geller, the Makeup Forever. The one that I'm using currently is the Aqua Luminous one, or this is an Aqua Luminous, the All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation by NARS. When we go back a little bit further in the drawer, we just have some more MAC, some Neutrogena, some Bare Skin. This is the new one by Tarte that sold at Ulta, which I do like, and as well as some Pure. And then I have these Smashbox BB Waters, which I can't wait to play with, and a little bit of Marc Jacobs and Bobbi Brown. Next drawer is my bronzer drawer. So right here, obviously, I have my Too Faced bronzer, and this is the the new summer 2016 one that is my go-to right now. How gorgeous is that? I have some Ciate bronzers, some Makeup Forever, some Balm, Laura Geller, Laura Mercier, Pixie. On in the back, I just have some random blushes by Japanese and a couple other brands. I also have a Travel Hula bronzer right there, as well as some MAC limited edition uh, bronzers in the back. Okay, for the last drawer in this drawer system is obviously like a junk drawer, but really it's just like my drugstore drawer. So if I ever want to film a drugstore tutorial and are involved more drugstore makeup, I reach for this drawer. Um, Lord have mercy, I don't even know how to go over it with you guys. It's, it's just got stuff in it, you know? Moving on to the second system, this is the last drawer, obviously. Some of my favorites are by Huda Beauty and, of course, Violet Voss. You see me use them all the time. Then over here, I just have a couple other brands like Esquito, and these are some lashes that I lost the boxes to, so it's really good to have this container, as well as some lash books back here. The second drawer up is like a mini eyeshadow palette. It's also an overflow eyeshadow palette drawer. Um, I just have a couple from L'Oreal. This is the new one from Tarte. Some Morphe mini palettes as well as the Ciates. And then I also have so cute the peanut butter and jelly palette from Too Faced. Um, some Morphe Urban Decay one. How cool is this palette that Make It Forever made me? I need to use these eyeshadows more. So back here, like I said, was the palette overflow. I have some It Cosmetics, the balm, and then this one, Urban Decay, paint it for me for Christmas time as a present. I have some of the mini um, adorable Too Faced palettes. And basically, that's about it for this drawer. Now we have my official palette drawer. This drawer is where creativity is born. I I am not kidding. I come to the store and dig through. I will pull out every single palette whenever I want to get creative. Here is the brand new, um, just to show you guys, the brand new Vice Reloaded palette from Urban Decay coming out very soon. It may already be out, as well as the new Too Faced Peach palette, March 17th, coming out. Um, here's the Urban Decay one, Gwen Stefani. Here's some more Vice palettes. 
here is the Drenched Metals palette by Violet Voss coming very soon. <laughs> Lots of new palettes in this drawer. This is pretty much my go-to palette that I created myself with Makeup Geek and Anastasia and MAC eyeshadows. There's the Lorac Mega Pro. Here is the famous Holy Grail which is sold out. It got battle wounds. I have some MAC palettes as well as lots of Z palettes that I create as well as some Lomcom Anastasia, a pretty one from Makeup Forever, and then this is like an all-in-one eyeshadow, contour, highlight, and brow palette. Back here I have another Z palette that I created. This one is Humongo and Awesome as well as a new one from Make It Forever. Very pretty. Hello, I got my Boo Boo Manis palette. And then the Tarte and Bloom palette as well as my Chocolate Bar palettes by Too Faced, um, some Anastasia, some more Too Faced, Urban Decay palettes, more Urban Decay, and Lorac palettes. My next drawer is dedicated completely to contour which is crazy just because of how much of a thing contouring is now. I love these. Are they, These are the new Make It Forever um, cream contour palettes. They're really awesome if you're into cream contouring. And I have all the little cream contouring tools that I like to use, like the nude sticks and just some really dark concealers that I have just for contouring my face. I also have my mini contour palettes right here. This is a beautiful one from Pure. How gorgeous blush highlight contour, as well as my little uh, Morphe, some Maybelline, and Motives, and Smashbox. I have the lovely Too Faced Cocoa contour the it cosmetic palette um Lorac, my old and trusty beaten to hell anastasia this is my first contour kit guys this is the powder one from tarte the fresh contour kit from anastasia and the good old anastasia cream contour kit on back here this palette is in here look how gorgeous this is Can, please really these are the single eyeshadows from morphe and the reason i don't use them a lot is because they're sold out all the time they are two dollars a piece crazy right beautiful don't forget to use my discount code larley which gives an additional money off um and all these are more and more Morphe palettes. This one's by Muron. It's one of the best pro contouring palettes on the market. It's quite expensive but works like a dream. And this is my favorite pot powder contour kit at the moment. It's the 9C by Morphe as well as the NYX one back there. My next drawer is for single eyeshadows that I haven't depot or cannot depot. Um, I also have some glitters right here. Here are some MAC eyeshadows, Benefit, Smashbox, and some Laura Geller. I also have some NARS as well as a row of NARS single eyeshadows right here. I have a lot of MAC pressed pigments here as well as my favorite, the Pure Eye Polishes. These are bomb diggity. And then I have my Moon Shadows. And I have a row of the NARS Dual Intensity Eyeshadows right here. Just some other random eyeshadows on back. And if you're wondering where I got the organizer, Tyler actually made this out of a foam board for me. This is my primer and like BB cream drawer. Like I said, this one's my favorite by NARS. And then the high Hydro Fluid by Pure, as well as the Big Easy by Benefit, and then I have some Smashbox right here. My primers, I love my primer so much. This is one by YSL, which I really love. Marc Jacobs, I have a couple by Smashbox, and then I have all my friends right here by Makeup Forever. I use these all the time in my videos. And then I just have, this Dr. Brandt one is bomb diggity for blurring out fine lines, wrinkles, pores. Um, Hangover RX, Benefit, and Hourglass, and some more moisturizers. Then back here I have my Jouer primer, as well as some backups, and one of my favorites by MAC. Now we'll start to get into lip products. This drawer here is not too exciting. I mean, I have some random lip glosses here, some Smashbox, Makeup Forever, a Cinderella from MAC. Obviously, this is where I keep my ColourPop lippy pencils. This is, this is drugstore lip glosses. I don't know why my Sigma friend's in there. But, um, yeah, all these are from the... And then we have another one that's not. I need to get my life together. Excuse me. But these are drugstore. In the front, I also have this palette that Stila came out with. I'm not a huge fan of lipstick palettes, but I want to try it out still. And then I have some cute minis in here. The only reason I keep them, honestly, is because I think they're so freaking cute. The next drawer is a lip gloss drawer. So right here, I have the new Buxom. Well, these aren't new, but the Buxom lip glosses. I have my NARS lip glosses here, as well as some mini lipsticks. I have my Revolution lip glosses from Urban Decay. And then I have my Anastasia ones. These are the Lusters, and then these are the solid colors lip glosses here. This is one of my favorites. It's called Butterscotch. Our next drawer is going to be my powder drawer. So I, for whatever reason, really, really, really love this drawer. I have my tried and true Laura Mercier Soldier standing right up front as well as the new Tarte Double Duty 
powders right there, some benefits, um, some extra benefit here in Urban Decay. I have some Makeup Forever right there, as well as Too Faced, MAC, NYX, and some Pure right here. Up top, I have a spinning lipstick tower, which is actually bomb diggity for storing lipsticks. I just have some Gerard, Laura Geller, Tarte, Smashbox right here, um, Urban Decay, Maybelline, Lancome, Benefit, and Kat Von D right there. And right here, I have an original beauty box. This acrylic system is life, and I'm going to show you what's inside. In the first drawer, I have some lip liners. These are some Urban Decay, Kaplan MD. Um, these are OCC, as well as my MAC Babies right here. And in the back, I just have my Tarte lip liners. Next drawer, I have all cream eyeshadows, paint pots, anything that's like cream to go in your eyes. I put it right in here. I have some Anastasia, MAC, Jouer, as well as a lot of different Tarte and Fiona Styles, Elf, and Jouer cream eyeshadow products. Our next drawer is dedicated completely to anything that is a colored eyeliner. A colored eyeliner pencil, pen, liquid, or gel. If it's colored, it goes in here. So I just store all the shebang. Our next drawer is for all black liner. Except for some of these stilas that have a little bit of color to them. They just wouldn't fit up here. Um, these black liners all are liquid or pencil on this side. I mean, it's literally an ocean of black liner. But I feel like... I have to have all of them to survive. <laughs> the last drawer is the deepest drawer. And at this side, I put all of my um, eyeshadow primers. I don't know why these friends are over here. Things just get crazy. I feel like it's like Toy Story when you go to bed and your makeup comes to life at night. But I put all of my eye primers over here. And I put all brow products over here. So I have some backup brow definer pencils. These are my favorite right now. As well as some Urban Decay, Anastasia, Too Faced. I mean, I have a freaking lip pencil in here. I'm going to show you guys this drawer system pretty briefly. It's one that I got at TJ Maxx and it has all my glitter pigments in it as well as my single NYX eyeshadows, some Jordana lipsticks, more glitter pigments as well as the liquid glitter to make the glitter stay on and it also has some Milani single eyeshadows at the top. Then over in this corner you probably have seen in the background of my videos before I have a second get out of here lipstick spinning tower this one's by Lux Box. so I just have some more eyeliners from ColourPop some more lip liner pencils right here some colorful eyeliners from Lancome and some colorful eyeliners from ColourPop right there and then I just have various lipsticks and the drawers that come on these I put my colorful eyeliners and my neutral eyeliners they're all from ColourPop in here the desk here has drawers that come with it and I filled the first one up with liquid lipsticks I love how long they are I'll show you this side in a second but um right here I just have my Kylie Jenner liquid lipstick some motives one some NYX um I have Stila right here as well as underneath are all my Anastasia ones the Kat Von D's up front and center, I have the Jouer New Liquid Lipsticks, which these are my favorites at the moment, so I have them up front, as well as two new shades from Violet Voss that are about to launch. On this side of the drawer system, I have my dose of colors. This is actually, I thought this was a um, better than sex mascara whenever I was at Too Faced, and it was a lip balm. And then I have my Violet Voss ones right here, as well as some Ofra underneath. The mini color pops from the holiday right there to the back of the drawer these are actually satin lippies not liquid lippies from color pop i have some lip pencils a pretty lipstick holder holder that sigma gave me for christmas um i have the liquid velvets from siate my gerard liquid lipsticks and tart ones right up in here i have this little brown desk that sits under here from target and i put my makeup brushes in here i open this drawer three or four times a day and i just wanted it to be really close by me my face brushes so um, they hang out right here and I also have the new artist brushes in here as well as most of these are Sigma because Sigma is pretty much my go-to brushes we have moved on to the second drawer in the desk obviously I have my beauty blenders here don't judge me I know they need to be cleaned okay a PR package from benefit as well as my favorite um, handheld mirror I normally pack this when I travel on the other side of the desk, I have this cute box. I want to set it out, um, but it's from Target. And I put all my ColourPop lip liners. Seriously, they hook a girl up, as well as the lip conditioner by Pixie. And I have these by Laura Geller in here. And I also have some Kylie Jenner ones, I thought. No, those are up there. You may be wondering, what is this in here? These are the new eyeliner, or brow pencils by ColourPop. They're only $5 a piece, and they're pretty darn good. ColourPop gel. Hilaire gel liners in here. I'm going to be playing with these more so I have them right up here in these drawers. I have some makeup remover wipes in the back as well as just a hair tie to pull my hair back from videos.
Now I'm going to show you guys what all is on my desk that I film on. And yeah, let's jump right in. This top corner of my desk I have here. I have this brush holder from Target. It's in the office section. It's meant to hold pens. I put all my Sigma eyeshadow brushes right here that I use every single day. They are disgusting. And if I catch you judging me, I will come for you. <sighs> just kidding. And right here I have this little clear container from Target. And it's just full of products that I have to use every day. Such as my gel liner, my brow pencils, um, my MAC paint pot, my glitter liner. You guys know I love the glitter. Just kidding. I have a couple products up here like this vivid liner that I want to remember to use and get creative with. So I just put it front and center. Then I have my two favorite liquid lipsticks. This is Noisette and Creme Brulee. As well as this new palette from Stila that I want to be sure and use and some just some eyeshadows that I want to be sure and use. I also have some facial radiance pads from First Aid Beauty. I use to clean my face every day before I do my makeup right here. And then over here are my Morphe face brushes. And then this actually sits like on the corner of the desk right here. But um, I'm going to pull it forward obviously so you can see it. This is the best thing that ever happened to me. This is a container from the container store. Or it's not really in a container. It's a tray. And then I have of course my Mac Fix Plus. I basically drink this stuff. And then I have my Urban Decay setting spray as well as some new products products from Benefit and NARS right here. This is my Smashbox primer water as well as a backup. This is a hydrating spray and then my Scandinavia setting sprays. These are awesome, awesome. And I just wanted to mention you guys, if you're wondering why I have silver down, it's because it's a reflector and when I film it helps bounce the light up and just makes it brighter. So that's why I have a silver topping on the desk. Thank you guys so, so much for watching this video. Be sure to subscribe to my channel before you leave for more videos and I hope to see you all in my next video video. Bye guys.